I feel like I'm not from the Bronx, so I don't know per se unless you know watch the documentaries and stuff like that. So for me listening, I feel like people is fucking with y'all. I feel like you know you're you're telling stories that's true because people in the comments mm-hmm. definitely feel me. So I just I want to be able to relate to. It. I feel like. I mean, as long as I can't play with my family and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, no, I feel like that's, that's, so that's like, true. I'm tapped in, but I'm looking for something a little more. Like, what's going to hit the radio? Like, what's going to be one of those bangers? You got something to talk? Of, of course. What's what's something we can look forward to? F- Friday night. You can hit out anyway. Sample the Friday night shit? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> What they go do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Nah, I'm sure until it's empty, gotta keep a G. If you niggas broke, ain't no static with me. Like, cause they cause when you in the streets. There's a difference between hating and beef. So I'm feeling like 50. Too many men trying to get up with me. What's up, y'all? We on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, a spicy guest. Lee Drilly, the demon child. You know. We got people on the internet thinking we got beef. No, nah, there's no beef. I just feel like, you know what I mean? I need my respect. You know what I mean? More trio. <laughs> you know? And that's what it's really about. Oh, so yeah. you feel like Toga Town don't respect you? Yeah. Why is that? Because of y'all. I came in a game different than everyone else. Everyone else came in for me except for, the, for me, whoever came up up by themselves. Mm-hmm. I forced my way in the door. No feature, no nothing. By myself. Forced my way in the door. I came out of nowhere, literally. I came out this year. It's all my progression is from this year. Okay. You came out this year. And they this ain't is do that. The end of the year award show. And they ain't do that. I feel like I just started seeing you in like October. This October? Yeah, that's when I tapped in. So I mean you was working before that? Deadly. Single? Like by yourself? Yeah. Okay, so when I started hearing my shoe, it was in October. So from from the end of the year, I feel like the end of the year award show was from the whole year. So so I mean February, March. And then the most disrespectful, I feel like that had to be me. I had people up there. I'm I'm not even gonna do that. You disrespectful, but we got used to me. He disrespectful. Use is disrespectful. Yeah, that's the He's, only person I could say could challenge me with disrespectful. What? Is that a thing? Like, y'all want to be the most disrespectful? Like, that's a nah, thing? Nah, that's just my personality. Like, in person, I'm really disrespectful. Like, not like in when it's business time, mm-hmm. but respectful. I'm On the music tip? You, yeah. I, I don't feel like that's like, I feel like as an artist, I wouldn't be want to be known as the most disrespectful. Yeah, I don't want to be known as the most disrespectful, but I am. But it's not purposely, it's just for me. So, you want to chill out on a disrespect me. or what? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, in the music, of course, I'm going to get to a point in my music where I'm, I'm not talking gonna... about on Instagrams. <laughs> I be disrespecting people on the grams? Y'all tell me in the comments. Let us know. Do Lily, do Lee really be wild on Instagram? I don't be disrespecting. You dad threw a sub at us. You got people thinking we had beef. Nah, it's no beef. It's no beef. But... Like I said, I need my respect. Be, on the music tip, I feel like you, know, you just started buzzing in October, so the award shows for the whole year, I feel like. Feel me? You started Not off. For you. you ended off the year strong, right? And I was better than a lot of people on that. You feel like you was better than a lot of people? I know I, I was. Like I feel like I'm not from the Bronx, so I don't know per se unless you know watch the documentaries and stuff like that. So for me listening, I feel like people is fucking with y'all i feel like you know you're you're telling stories that's true because people in the comments mm-hmm. definitely feel me so i just i want to be able to relate to it. i feel like some of your songs i can't play with my family and shit you know yeah, like, yeah no i feel like that's, so that's, that's like, true i'm tapped in but i'm looking for something a little more like what's gonna hit the radio like what's gonna be one of those bangers you got something to talk of, of course what's what's something we can look forward to Friday night, you can hit out any Sample the Friday night shit? Yeah. Okay, okay. I can show y'all a little snippet of that. Um, we can play it. Yeah, we could do a one too. Yeah. I was gonna say so, um so when would you say you started taking music seriously though? My first song I dropped. Not even after that. 
I started taking music seriously when four or five months ago. And I really made it happen. Like even after my first song, I still wasn't even taking it serious. Even my first song, I wasn't taking that serious. It was so just a what song. What was that moment that was like, nah, this is this is the thing for me? Because I I told, I used to write songs and it used to take me like a month. And then when I realized I could write a song in ten minutes, it's too easy. Mm -hmm. It's way too easy. That's why one of my mans was telling me that too. Like drill rapping has gotten too easy for you. It is because it is. I'm never gonna run out of nothing to say in drill rap. I'm, it's literally it's gonna always be How something to say. How long do you think the drill wave's gonna last? I don't know. Where do you think you would go to next? Like when it's dying down, you gonna go to some melodic shit, or you gonna be on like the Meek Mill Pain type of shit? Like where do yeah. you think you gonna go to next? Yeah, it, could, it could be anything. I could do. And not yeah, singing. No, I can't sing. I'm gonna I can't say sing. like I ain't gonna lie. I can't sing. I could try, but I can't sing. But you think you'll be one of those lyrical? Yeah. Much. Okay, so like, um, who was some of your inspirations growing up in the music scene? My brother. And you talking about mainstream? It could be family or any Oh yeah, artist. yeah. Like, my brother was rapping. That was like, that was one of the people I looked up to with the rapping shit. My your one of my rap? yeah, okay. one of my older heads, Mo. He's one of the people I look up to. He's actually my my son Mo really dead nice, but he just don't rap how we rap right now, so it went pop. But he really he's someone that really like, like one of those he's that could just yeah okay. like a meek. Okay. Um, who else? You got you got Mo, you got Spies. Yeah. Okay, and then mainstream who was ski, a uh, mainstream rappers. Mm -hmm. Damn, who who you listening to growing up? Who was on your playlist? Me, of course, you gotta have me. I G Herbo Dan. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I like a I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say people compare you to him. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. What's on that? I don't like being compared to people. I just want to be me. I, I feel mean, like I'm very different. I mean, I like Capone wasn't a bad artist. No, nah, he wasn't. I just don't want. I just don't want to be compared to nobody. Like, I just. I want to be that per like, see how when they speak meek, they just speak meek, mm -hmm. like meek in his own, that's how I want to be, I just want to be in my own, you say literally you don't compare him to nobody, nobody mm -hmm. like him for me. Okay, so what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? Like what separates you from everybody else? I feel like it's certain stuff I say that it just be like, it's just like, how like he a kid how he know like that i say certain stuff that people wouldn't know that's i feel like like i said i'm ahead of my time mm -hmm. i feel like he i say stuff that is like hold on he was outside for that like you think that's a good thing or a bad thing that you're ahead of your time good thing because yeah. i know a lot more and that's you why I, I move more. better than a lot of the people my age a lot of people my age not just never say never but i haven't been locked up before mm -hmm. most of my friends most of the people my age all been locked up. Yeah. I mean, it, but you also said, like, the drill music ain't too easy for you, so it's like, it's a good and a bad thing. Wow. Being ahead of your time, you're saying drill oh, music yeah, ain't yeah, too yeah. easy, like. But not in the sense of, like, like, in the sense of, like, you never gonna run out of nothing, because, like, when you got that that knowledge, you just, you sing certain things, like, it's just, yeah. I just know a lot. So you experienced a lot from growing up. Yeah, not even on the, not even on the gangster side of things. Just like it doesn't always have to be. Yeah, it doesn't got to be about gangster stuff. It's it about everything, mean, money, everything. Yeah, I just know a lot. Okay, so you from RPC or no? I'm from one nine four. Cool over there. Yeah, those my, those my dogs. I was gonna say like it seems like. Do you feel like you have to like put your all in when it comes to music? Being that it seems like so many people are against like y'all side. Yeah. So like you 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 say you take like ten minutes to make a song. So like when do you know like this is the song that she wanna put out? This is the song that. I don't know. It it, it just be something about that song. Like and when I make a song, I I know like when I feel it. Like I gotta do this video. Okay. It's certain songs that you just know that you make. You like alright, they could wait for this. When I got nothing to do, I'm not planning nothing. I I gotta get a video out. I'm gonna do this video. And then it's certain songs like yo, I gotta get this video done ASAP. 
if something else could have been at the top of the list. Everything got away that goal. So music is a mood type of thing. You feel like you have to be in a good mood to make a song or anything. It on the day? Any mood. Okay. It could be anything. I get upset, I go write something. Like, not, like, upset, like, I have an argument with my, one of my men, son, I go write something, that's how I take my mind off of it. That's that's the escape right there. Yeah, so, what's some of your goals on the music tip, though? Like, what's something on your bucket list? Mm. Mm. Don't think too hard. Like, what's on your bucket list? Okay, 2022 is the Perform approaching. at BT. Of course, that's always. Yeah, yeah, you know. that's regular. I feel like 2022 is coming up, like, what's something you want to accomplish next year? I want to be the biggest artist in the Bronx. What does that look like? Because everybody's arguing about the face of the Bronx. Uh, I don't even, I'm not the face of the Bronx. <laughs> I don't want to be the face of the Bronx. So you don't You don't really care for that title? No, nah, I'm the face of the demon. I'm the demon child. That's, that's, what, does that, what does that mean? Like when people think demon child, lead really, what do you want them to think? It could mean something different for everybody. So what's some, like, what do you want them to think? I don't know, like, when they hear Demon Child, it's just, I don't know. Everybody got a different, you, you, you got to ask my mom, nah, you like, you ask my grandma, <laughs> my mom, why they call me Demon Child, hey, he's oh, you been a badass kid. No, but if, if, if they hear that, they'll be like, their first thing they think, yeah, he was a badass kid. Okay. You ask certain other people, answer might be different. So you want to keep that name with you? Yeah. Yeah? I don't, for me, it's... <laughs> Working on this, maybe, maybe. If it not. get to the point where, for me, and they feel like that's that's not professional, of course I'm gonna change it up. But yeah. you feel like you feel like that's a name that's just sticking for the moment. Yeah, but I feel like, but that's still like that's still they you. know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> that's still you. That's that yeah. alter ego thing. Okay, so who's some people that you wanna collab with? Mainstream or anybody from the city or more mainstream? Or? Mainstream rapper, Derek. Uh, who, who would I be collabing with? I collab with Derek. I collab with Meek. I was like, do you really think about features though? Is that Polo like a G. thing? Polo G. Polo G. He's different. Oh, I'm um, Shorty, 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 different. Yeah, you in tune with that thing. Yeah, because he, he different. He don't rap like everyone else. His rap style is unique. Yeah. That's why, that's, that's the type of people I would collab with, people who differ. Gotcha. So, like, okay. So, like, but do you feel like features are important, or you feel like it's going to come when it comes? Yeah, it's going to come when it comes. I'm not going to pay for, for that feature. <laughs> Dude, why, why do nobody ever want to pay for features? Because I feel like... You know when you're with a label, that somebody going to pay you for features. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I feel like... I'm just work hard. Just work hard. Well, I gotta pay. Well, I gotta so, pay my way around. But what if it's around. not from your pocket? What if it's from the label? That counts. That's still a dub. Still, I still, I want to be able to say I made it and I won without doing none of that. I want to be able to say I did it. Me. I get that, but your people pay for features. Like Cardi pays Offset for the feature, but the label pays. You know for real? I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's not your next t- technically your bread. It's the label's bread. So. If the label covers it, does that count, or is it still not? Good? I mean, when I'm already up, yeah. like when I'm already famous, and yeah, 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 they could do that because I'm already. But when I want right to make it right now, up, I want to make it by myself. Okay. I want to be known because of me, not because yo, you know who that is? He, he, the one who did the song. I nah, I want to be <laughs> me so and make it by like myself. So you don't like the feature route to come up? Nah. No. Okay. All right, that's cool. So um, so how do you know when someone's a fan of yours? Yo, as they say all types of <laughs> I had someone come up to me in my face with a ski mask on talking about nine four G's, no G like They for me. I don't well, know, they just go ski crazy. Mask lit right now, so I don't want them to come up to me like that though. <laughs> so you want fans to be you know Yeah, okay. just be cool. I'm a cool person. If okay. a fan I never deny a fan a picture, nothing. Yeah. Never. Nothing. I seen a fan I went to go shopping. And he told me, he said he ain't want to be on no fan shit. I'm like, it's not fan shit, like, for me. Because yeah. I want want someone to not, if I want, I, even though that's not my body, I don't do that. <laughs> See, like, but wow. <laughs> I wouldn't want no one, I don't, I wouldn't want no one to feel like 
it's fan shit. So you basically like if you see a fan, you would want them. You yeah, because I would I would never make them feel like for me, because I I don't know how. I, f- I know how I feel to look up to somebody, okay. and wish you could just hit them up or wish you could just see so them. So you respond to fans when they be hitting you up and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Certain fans. They be they be good good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. So when you gonna have a show in the city? You wanna do a show? Like where's some place you wanna perform at in the city? It don't matter. I'm just wherever they call me to perform. Where's perform. a bucket list place like the Barclays, Massive Air Garden? Like you know, where's a big place you wanna perform at? Hit the stage, let the people hear your music. Do you yeah. have a place in mind? Nah, I really never thought about that. To be honest. I right, sleep on that and let us know. <laughs> How you feel about that? Um, yeah, so you're going to do more. Well, more shows are coming. You know, COVID is slowly stopping, I guess. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask, do you think that because of your music, it's hard to book you because you be talking crazy? Yeah. Like for shows? Yeah. But then, nah, because look who getting booked. <laughs> for them from the Bronx. Yeah, but hip hop police is like fake shutting shit down. Yeah. You think hip hop police real? Or you think that's cap? Nah, I don't. I don't know. I never really like. I mean, nah, as yeah, a, it is real. As an artist, I'm about to say, do cops real. watch y'all more? Like, is oh no, no, yeah, yeah. Type shit. Like, but so. I feel like it's not because not a lot of rappers. Yeah, no, a lot of rappers all get locked up. Yeah, I'm about to say. I think hip hop police are real thing. For some people. It could either, for some people, it could be a good thing. For some people, it could be a bad thing. Because some people... It could be the good thing. <laughs> for some people, they could they could feel like, uh, he a star, I see potential, and I'm not going to mess with him. Mm-hmm. NBA young boy gets locked every other day. I don't know, bro. I think hip hop police is a real thing. I, I think that the music makes it hard for us to have more shows in the city. Because people are scared to book people. Because you know so? people are unprofessional. You think people are unprofessional? You got to keep it professional. You ever had like a bad experience like with people being unprofessional? Not yet? Anyone around me know. You know. You on time? <laughs> nah, it's not even about me being on time. It's that we about to go right here. We not going to act how we going to act when we over here. Okay, so, your friend is, so all your friends is in tune with all that? Yeah, they know so. Okay, cool. So... <laughs> So, what's your favorite part about being an artist? Is it being in a studio or shooting the music videos? Shooting the music videos. <laughs> Why everybody say that? Because the music videos, we really get to like, you get to just loosen up, go crazy. I was say, that's when y'all back out y'all dance moves and shit. I was say, you see everybody doing, would you say y'all started that dancing? What? The dancing. Oh, I, don't, I ain't start nothing but this right here. Anyone <laughs> who do this right here, this is mine. Okay, so you claiming that? No, that I started that. Okay, I'm saying you're claiming it, like right yeah, now, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. The first place you ever seen that was in Delhi. Nobody ever did that before Delhi. Okay, but I'm saying like I feel like that side of town. I feel like y'all always back out some crazy dance yeah. moves that go viral. Yeah. Like, so is that is that a thing out there? Like y'all just be vibing, or just be the energy, or? Well, I don't. Dancing is like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, we be vibing, <laughs> we be chilling, we be making stuff up on spot. It just. We creative, but we the boogie down. So, true. I'm about to say, so if somebody don't got dance moves, they can't be in the vid? Nah, they could be in the vid. You got to see that, yeah. <laughs> that, you got your dancers. You got the people that, yeah, you know, got to mention. That's your man's. He don't dance, though, but they, <laughs> yeah, he don't dance. That's they your man's, the though. the artists that did. Yeah. See, Robbie, girls here dance, we? All right, so has um anyone ever posted you or co-signed you that surprised you? Like, or you seen people watching or tapped in? That she was like, oh shit, they tapped in. It could be mainstream or other blog pages or. No, I don't really, I don't really be surprised. Cause it's like, I already know we got the attention on us. So okay. anything, I'll be, for me, of course you'd be excited if okay. something like that happened. But it's never surprising. Cause they just, people you don't even know be tapped in. I was to say, where's some places that's tapped in that it was like, oh shit, they tapped in? Um. Let me see. Dang. I'm, I was like, do you read your comments and shit? Or? I read them sometimes, but <laughs> most of the time I just love all of them. But oh, if right. I go like to a certain and find it, like yeah. I know I done seen some stuff before that I was like, oh, 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm surprised, but like, yo, he. They tapped in out there, yeah. Any places? Oh, you don't remember? Yeah. One time I got OD hype, but I was I got faked out. Meek Mill's news reposted me. So that's still. <laughs> <laughs> they repost everybody. Yeah. That was nothing. I thought it was Meek. Yeah. Popped I mean, up as they Meek Mill. Still Mel. got a lot of followers. Mad people probably seen your face. I don't want Meek Mill's news posted me. Boom. Okay, Meek Mill got a cuss on yeah. you officially. He got a post. I so what's some what's a, a big accomplishment that happened this year? The year's coming to an end. What's something that you accomplished this year that was like, I did that? I don't know. I feel like this year, because everything I did was this year. Yeah. Like, everything I accomplished was this year. I feel like uh, I really kicked my way in the door. Mm-hmm. Like, no one else came in like me. I, got, I kicked my way in the door. I didn't pay for no followers. I didn't pay for no views. I Never okay. did none of that. I about to say, you almost had 10K subscribers on YouTube. Followers going up. Nothing like what, like you know, like what's a big accomplishment or just all that stuff? All of it, everything that that's coming. Okay, and what should I'm about to say? Your songs don't be getting leaked, do they? No. Okay, do you, you on all that? I, I don't send my songs to no one. I say yeah, you on top of all that. I yeah. be saying y'all tracks be getting leaked. But so, like certain songs done got leaked before. It's like every you a song always gonna get leaked somehow. I don't Why know you how. think that mainstream artists? Because it's me? songs. It's like it's <laughs> it was songs. throwaway tracks that just how how you got that <laughs> how you got that I just be confused. <laughs> but the new shit you have in the tuck, you holding down. Yeah, holding yeah, down. yeah, nobody gets the new stuff. But for me, the people who need to know it, like if I'm about to do a video, because that's something I learned too. Your song getting leaked could be a good thing. Cause if you got a fire, fire song, get that's what made, um, this song fire. This not fire, but this song everybody was feeling for it. Cause mm-hmm. they leaked it. To be honest, they leaked that, yeah. and everybody wanted to wanted to hear it. Yeah, and it's, could be but a you song know, because niggas did that beat before, and like nobody cared. Um, I just feel like cause they leaked it. Okay, so that's, that's just highly weird. anticipated. Getting your fans mm-hmm. highly anticipated. So you think that's a good promotion strategy, yeah. or you rather just? No, nah, I don't want it to happen, oh, but yeah. I feel like it's not too bad. It's not, it's not a problem. Like your song getting leaked, you shouldn't be so angry. You shouldn't be okay yeah. with that. That's your. I'm not okay. I'm not okay with oh, okay, it. Okay, I'm saying. But I feel like you shouldn't be so angry because it could be a it could be a good <laughs> thing. You okay. never know. You they leak it and everybody waiting for it. Okay, and um, I don't know. Everybody feels differently about that. Songs being leaked. Nah, cause look, you know how that's what makes. Cause it's, saying, but song? y'all be previewing stuff on live sometimes yeah. too, so I feel like fans be putting all that stuff together. Like Delhi, trying to make a joke. Delhi that got, got Delhi got leaked. Yeah. When we did the video to Delhi, people know it already. Every everyone that was there knew it. That's what made the video so lit. Oh, okay. Now you could put scenes that where he stopped the audio and you could just hear us yelling it. Yeah. Cause it's like. Y'all knew it. Everybody knew it. Yeah. So nobody ever wondered, like, who leaked that shit? Hey. <laughs> oh, it didn't matter because it went up. Oh, well, for me. I'm never going to really know who leaked it. I'm so saying, me, but nobody was mad. Like, how did shit get on you? Yeah, of course. We like, yo, bro, they violating. But it's <laughs> like, for you to even think about it, okay. it's just going to be like, bro, you never going to find out. You never even going to narrow it to three people. I'm going to say, yeah, because probably, like, it was like, what, three of y'all on that thing? Four. Four, so y'all all got the song. Engineer got the Everybody song. Everybody's <laughs> sending it different ways. Yeah, okay. It was like, mm-hmm. All right, but 2022, what should we look forward to from Lee Drilly? What should the people be seeing? Top of the year. You know, top of the year, I'm a drop sign. If y'all don't see, I drop sign almost every holiday. Every holiday. Like, every holiday. Thanksgiving. Did I drop sign? So you about to drop again? Did I drop sign Thanksgiving? No, nah, I didn't drop nothing Thanksgiving. I didn't drop. I dropped something on Halloween. Uh-huh. You More had that. to. You're the demon child. Yeah. <laughs> for me. But see, I I could drop something any day with the demon child because that's not a costume. Nah, that's, that's me. Not, but like, Halloween I mean, you had to drop. Yeah. Something. Halloween, you know. But yeah, next year. Look forward to every type of song. I'm making every type of song except like nah, I can't sing. I'm gonna try it though. Regular food. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try everything. So 
Okay, I can look forward to a lot. Y'all gonna hear a lot of different music from me. Right. Any collabs or no? Of course. With the bros? Ewoo, that's always gonna be my partner in crime. So y'all, y'all, y'all gonna be a dynamic duo? Yeah, too, that's always gonna, him right there. Anytime it don't, me and him are always gonna make music together. Even when I type on Instagram, I'm no longer making music with people that don't come from him. Hey, me and him are always gonna I'm gonna say, why you say that? Why you be like that? Because certain times. Everybody want feature? Nah, not even at certain times I don't want to make music with nobody. I just want to make music by myself. I feel like, I, I don't know, I just be on my own type of time, man. I know what flow I want to do on this beat. That's why I don't really do features, because it's like, I didn't agree to do a song with someone, and then me on the beat by myself w- went, nah, like, my verse was just crazy. So I, I feel like I can't afford for no one to mess this up. This song is crazy. <laughs> So I just do the whole thing by myself. But what if you help me? One of your men just starting to rap. Really? No. <laughs> my men's, my men's already started rapping. E woo. I know, but what if somebody else from the block, like, yo, bro, do this feature with me? You know, it's good. You gotta pay. It's not even that. Like, bro, you think, nah, why you think, how you do that? There's a lot of people rapping. D thing no. when I started rapping, D thing and I was rapping, I never asked D thing for a feature. Okay. So you got you think they gotta hustle more. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's real shit. People think it's okay to do a song with their man to help them. Yeah, but then again, why would you if I'm if I'ma do a song with you, then let it be like that. Why would you ask me? Okay. Cause now I know what you're trying to do. Okay, so you feel like that's some clout chasing type. Yeah. Okay. But luckily, I don't got mans like that. No, no one around me. We don't ask each other for songs that just come up. So it just be vibes in the stool. Yeah. That's no cool. handouts. That's cool to know. So y'all all definitely grinding. Y'all mm. holding it down. And album next year? Or project or something? Yeah, definitely. Like an EP. EP? Yeah. Title yet or not yet? Demon Child. You gonna call it that? Of course. Okay. All right. Tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. Find me on YouTube, Demon Child, you know. Instagram, Lee Julie underscore. Well, I don't really use Facebook and stuff. Don't promote your Facebook. Yeah, I, I won't. I, <laughs> totally that's not. crazy. I don't use Facebook. Nah, that's crazy. YouTube, Instagram, y'all can find me there. Um, that's it. TikTok. You want TikTok? Lee Julie, yeah. You want TikTok? Yeah. Um, gotta have everything. Gotta claim your dance moves. Yeah, word. That's mine. Yo, anybody <laughs> see anyone do that? No, I started that. Uh, nobody could come up here and deny that. Nobody could go on Instagram and deny that. When y'all post this, y'all, I made that by myself with this brain right here. <laughs> okay. Nobody did that. That's me. Nobody. Nobody. Me. Uh, tutorial on TikTok coming soon. You want to show the people how to do yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to show the people how to do it. You can get st- I showed them how to sturdy up with it, no lie. <laughs> you know me. I'm super sturdy. I know y'all seen dead PSA, y'all seen getting crazy, you know?